Hey everyone, welcome to part 7 of my Let's Play for Tome, Tales of Majeal. So here is where we left off. We tried our hands at the Ring of Blood and found that uh, we were not equal to the challenge, so we are going to move on and do something else. Time to hit the Rod of Recall, kill some turns, and then we'll get back out on the world map here. And let's see where we left off and what we have to do next. So, Daikara is our next thing we've got to do. Um, we can go back and do this Beast Within cla uh, quest here. That is actually a quest that unlocks the Reaver... No, sorry. Uh, cursed? Yes, the Cursed class. Uh, the Deep Bellow, we can do this one as well if we can find Iron Council entrance. Shertul Fortress we might be able to do as well. I think a lot of these things we can do. So let's go see if we can track down that lumberjack camp first. If I can remember where that thing was. And I can show you how to unlock the cursed class. It's pretty straightforward. The thing that you fight might scale and level. It's not this. This is this is I think the Elven starting area right there. So let's go track this down. I think, if I remember right, it might be down this way. Whoops, I got ambushed. Okay. I'll just clean up these guys real quick here. Went down so fast. That's a summoner. And let's grab the blues, if we have, yeah, we get some room to spare, so we can grab those. Kill her golem. And let's check and see if any of this stuff is good. The steel mail armor, longsword and greatsword, and that looks very good, but we can grab it to sell anyway. At least that, because it's not too heavy. Oh, there's still one guy up here. Go take care of this guy. There we go. Ooh, a swift strike ash longbow. 134. Yes, we'll take that. Okay, now we should be able to leave. Where was that village? Scintillating caves. This is Alvala. What's this? Roller and camp. It wasn't that. Oops, I got ambushed again. Well, the good news is that these guys aren't usually too hard. And furthermore, they tend to drop some pretty decent stuff. Whoops. Cured leather armor. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, I might be about to die. Maybe death has found me at last. Well, let's gamble on a phase door. And pop heal. And run around the corner. Let that heal. Get going. Let's see, I don't want to turn on Berserker because that's going to reduce my defense. Man, stupid summoners. This guy is pissing me off. Hold still, damn you. Don't run from me when I'm killing you. He's blinking around. There we go. We killed him. What, this guy is like a spell blade or something? Let's stun him. Keeps knocking me away. I need to try to get some knockback resistance or something. Okay, let's see what we get here. Longsword, don't care, shield, don't care, blah, blah, blah. Bunch of crappy stuff. Resonating Vile, Mind Star of Frost. Not that good. And check this last pile up here. Okay, not too good. I really wish I could remember. 
where that place was. Somebody said if you hold down right mouse button, you can move your view around. Oh, here. Oh, yes. Nice. Good tip, whoever that was. Now I need to try to figure out where that city was. Was it down here? No. It can't have been. Was it? Might have been over here? This guy... Lumberjack ran out. I wish I could remember the name of the village. Oh well, we'll just keep looking around, I guess. Alvala, was it there? Where did he say? Beast within. I feel like it was called like a lumber village or something like that. Could be mistaken. Let's check out this village real quick and see what's going on here. I'll recognize it once I get in there. Okay, so it's not that. Could it be down this way? Perhaps? Was it this? Zigur? Maybe? No, not that one. seems like the map is a little bit different every game. There's Dreadfell. I could be just totally... Last Hope. It wasn't Last Hope. I know that for sure. There's something else you can do at Last Hope. Iron Council. Ah, okay. Well, oh, here. That's probably it. There's the small lumber lumberjack village. Alright. Let's go do that, and then we'll come back now that we know where the Iron Council is, and we can do Deep Bellow. Okay, so let's go check this out. I hear screaming. What are you guys running from? What's the big deal? What's everybody afraid of? Lumberjack has been dominated. Lumberjack has been dominated. Oh, maybe it's this that you're afraid of. Could it be... this guy. Oh, he's like all crazy looking. Hair coming out of all crazy places. Skin turning all purple and gray. Yeah. Looks like he's had better days. Alright, let's turn... Whoa, he just teleported to me. Okay, so let's do this and then that and then hit him and then hit him again. Well, that was easy. Okay, so uh, normally if you did this uh, this would unlock the Cursed class under the Afflicted Archetype, but since I've already done that, it just gets me an achievement on this character. So, I get an achievement, and then they gave me a pickaxe for being such a swell guy. And then that guy dropped some greens. We'll just explore around a little bit here. Seems like I got just about everything. Okay, so now that's out of the way. Oh, hi there. Now we can leave and we can go to Iron Council down to the Deep Bellow. And I leveled up. Let's do this real quick. Alright, so let's see. Warshout. Furlicone. Confusion is pretty strong. That's kind of nice. I feel like I should max things out instead of spreading them around, but I don't know. Combat accuracy... Eh. Daunting presence is pretty strong. Spell shield is pretty good. Seems like that might be worth putting more points into. Because, oh yeah, well I guess finish bloodbath and then probably the next point I'll start putting more into spell shield. And then for the generic point I guess do, 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 do. yeah all right well let's see might start putting points in a thick skin actually because damage damage reduction against everything is pretty good stone skin Oh, I kind of want to get this, actually. If I'm going to have a ton of money, then this thing can actually add up to quite a bit of 
passive uh, resistances or uh, saves rather there's so much stuff I want I really just want everything although I don't necessarily need to max everything um, alright I'll put a point in this why not and then we'll get points and power and his money okay so we just have stats now strength constitution our constitution is falling behind a little bit so we can put some points in that okay so that ought to do it now we go back to the iron council like so all right and we want to go here thank you for that tip whoever that was somebody told me about the right clicking on the map I don't have your name handy but you know who you are so okay I haven't actually been down here on this character have I? I don't know this stuff is all lower level I think yeah these guys are super low I just never did it and I don't like having outstanding tasks in my quest log so now I can turn on Berserk, no reason not to. Okay, let's go kill, kill, kill. Kill everything. Just gotta do this fast. Gotta go fast. Okay, let's just go down. I don't care about clearing the whole thing. I'm not sure whether there's... Whoa, holy shit. I don't know whether there's a reduction to the amount of uh, XP you get for killing lower level mobs. Probably is, but I couldn't say how much. Okay. It got me a few percent XP. Let's grab that excavation report. What is that? What are these things? Well, they look pretty crazy. Trim, horror, corrupted. They're big, scary looking things. Maybe I sh maybe you shouldn't go too crazy here. Oh, there's a purple mob down here. Killed it. Killed it. Let's rush this guy. Okay. Oh, there's the down. Just keep going. I'm just gonna rush this dungeon. Don't care. Oh yeah. Okay. So here is the mouth. It's a big, crazy looking mouth. Now it's invulnerable, but there is a way that we can kill it, which is by killing these little slime things. And you see its HP was 10,000, now it's gone down to 9,000. I'm going to try to get this. Come over here and get the report. just gonna let them come to me there's attacks that it does if you get close so while you're doing this you may want to just keep moving away from it it's gonna try to suck you in using that call of a Machthel which you can see down in the combat log uh, but if you stay away from it I mean you can avoid taking most of the damage it does spit poison at you from time to time what's the HP at now 3024 okay I'm trying to find a place I can put my cursor so it's out of the way. I think I just... It seems like the HP goes down by a thousand every time you kill one of those things. One of the crawlers. And... Did it literally do no damage? Yeah, it's literally invulnerable to normal attacks. Okay. Get some gloves. Tasty little glovies. Let's see how good you are. They are flame rot. Thank you, Elisa. Okay, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Here we go. It's got 
willpower and fire damage bonus, and it can shoot a bolt of fire. Interesting. Okay. Not very good, but interesting anyway. So that was what we wanted to do there. That's that quest done. Okay, Slaver's Compound. I don't know why this shows active. I think that you either have to um, finish the Ring of Blood or kill that boss guy, but since we chose to start the Ring of Blood, I think we can't go back and kill the dude. Okay, let's see. Chartol Ruins. I think I could probably tackle this right now. Let's see. Into the Darkness. Daikara. Storming the City. Dearth. Okay. Um, we could do some more side stuff, too, before we go on with the main quest. So what I might actually do is go to the ruined halfling complex, I believe it's called, and show you how to unlock the Yeek race, which are pretty cool. They're small, smaller than halflings, and their unique ability, one of their abilities, is that they can mind control as a racial ability. And uh, it's pretty cool. Not only do they mind control enemies and force them to fight for them, but once the mind control wears off, the enemies just outright die. And I think there's some limitations, like you can't use it on elite enemies and bosses and things like that. But, um, you know, there's still some decently strong so called normal, you know, monsters. So you can still get yourself some pretty nice kind of extra minions, and it's on a relatively short cooldown as well, so. Alright, so the place we're looking for is in here, and it is called Very Old Halfling Ruins. Ruins. And I think that I'm an appropriate level for this place, but I may... Yeah, this should be okay. Level 15. It might get a little bit harder as we go down, but I'm not having too much trouble as it is. Almost one-shotting some stuff. So, once we get to the end of this, well, you'll see. I won't ruin the surprise. Now, if you do what I'm about to do as a yeek in a subsequent playthrough, there's sort of a, oh, crap, there's sort of an added benefit which is that you'll unlock another class. And I guess I may as well tell you, since I've given you so many spoilers already, but that class is called Mind Slayer, and they are really cool. What a Mind Slayer is, is it's, a, uh, sci it's under the Psionicist archetype. There are two classes under that archetype. One of them is Solipsist, that attacks with dreams and things like that. And then the other one is Mind Slayer. They use their mental powers to control weapons. So you'll have, you can have like a two two-handed weapons that you control with your mind, and things like that. It's really pretty cool. They have some other interesting mechanics, where they can have uh, these kinds of shields, where um, when they turn the shield off, it does a spike of damage, and things like that. Seems like it's somewhat advanced class, but has the potential to be very strong. Just gonna get back on the auto exploring method here. I really wish that this character had the transmogrification chest because I like that when you have that, it automatically picks everything up for you and throws it in the chest. You'll see it on the next character I make. Um, in fact, you might even see it on this one. If I get to the right place, I'll get it in the course of the normal game, but you won't start with it unless you start a new character after you get your donator status I believe alright nearly done with this floor it seems ancient wardrobe is this the out? or the down? I want the down Seems I've missed a couple things here, maybe.
Oh no, that is a down. Because the globe is out. Okay, so down we go to the next level. Whoa. Do not like archers. They have a tendency to do a lot of damage before you can close with them unless you have rush. Which I was smart to take. It's really a almost a vital ability for any class that can take it. Because it usually not always, but is usually gonna be one of the only mobility abilities you have. Armored Skeleton Warrior. Okay. A lot of goodies in here. It's probably going to be something scary. The game punishes you sometimes for exploration. You'll sometimes see uh, rooms that when you go to open the door, it says the door is locked. Are you sure you want to open it? I'd say about a third of the time that I open doors like that, there's something like 15 levels above me in there that just absolutely wrecks me. Like, here, let's see what happens here. Oh, God. They're all level 20, and they're all casters. This is going to hurt. Uh, fortunately, they were all nice enough to <laughs> get lined up for me to do a death dance and smite them all with one blow. Thanks, guys. All right. Vision rune, ooh, 227, that's pretty flat, that's a pretty big heal, okay, let's grab that, movement speed, somebody had suggested using those, so we'll give that a shot at some point, yeah, 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 that's the up, where's the down, there's the down, alright, ooh, wait, there's something I missed over here. There's like a whole extra area. Amulet? What's this? Research log, okay. Alright, I think that is about it. Okay, so down we go to the next level. I think that there are maybe four levels in this. Oh. Kill them all. Oh, floating sword. Interesting, what is this? Let's take that. Now I'm encumbered. But first let's identify and see what it is. Calarium. This intricate blade is impractically long and almost as wide as your body, yet contrary to its size and apparent girth, it's not only light, but threatens to escape your grasp and fly away. You'll need to be really strong to keep it grounded, or really big. Thank you. Okay, let's check that thing out. Whoa! So much damage! Holy shit, look at that crit! Oh, skeet, 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 that thing is so good. All right, well, we're, we're going to go ahead and switch for that thing. That is pretty fat. Yeah, we like that. We like it a lot. But we need to drop some other stuff now, so let's drop some, some of these. Actually, do we have any, whoops, do we have any armor we can drop? That's heavy, searing, male. Drop that. Drop some of this light armor. The gloves aren't that heavy. And, alright, so off we go. Big damage, holy crap. And a level, sweet, okay. Let's see, okay, so we get... No generic points this level, but we do get two class points. I've already maxed out Bloodbath. Mortal Terror. Any? Let's see, Mighty Blows, blah, 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 blah. 
Any melee strike you do that deals more than 45% of the target's total life puts them in mortal terror, dazing them for five turns. See, now this is a weird ability because if you do more than 45% of the target's total life with a single blow, then it's, doesn't it seem kind of like overkill to daze them for five turns? Shouldn't you theoretically be able to just kill them on the next strike? Although the next part is pretty good where it says that it increases your critical strike chance. Um, let's see, you know, I'm kind of tempted. Do I want to take a point out of Berserker and put it into here for that extra crit? Well, here, let's see. If we put it in... Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's going to give us a lot of crit. I might just do that. You know, I'll come back I'll come back to you, Berserker, someday. Oh, wait, I can't put another one in there anyway. Not until level 16. Okay, so we'll put that point back in there. This whole tree is really good, actually. Shaman your foes bites the dust. You feel a surge of power. Increasing your strength. You get a stacking strength buff. Unstoppable. Battle Frenzy, your health can't drop below 1. This is like, I don't know if you play League of Legends, but this is like, you basically become Trindamir. So, okay, let's get some more points into Khan to try to keep these things pretty even. Okay, so that should do that. Okay, we can turn Berserker back on, I guess. Okay, so we're coming up on 30 minutes, so I'm going to be wrapping this up. Oh, wait, no, I do not want to do that just yet. I think when I ex explored this area with my summoner, those walled-off areas weren't too scary, but... And that sword we got is so good. The damage difference between what we had and that was really significant. Where are you going? Ooh, that's a lot of guys. They send such as you to fight me? You all die. Some lore. Wait, no, I don't want to do that yet. Kill. Kill, kill. Let's open the chest now. Great sword. Nah, I'm not even going to bother picking that up. Just not as good as what we have. Yep, 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 yep. Pinned? What's going on? Pinning is a physical effect, so that should clear it. Lantern. No, it's a sling. Just kidding. Yeah. Okay, what's in here? Alright, do we want to take a chance and open up the scary room? I'm going to say yes. Why not? How bad is it? 33? Ooh, that's pretty scary. Smash, smash. Heal, smash, smash. Eh, Could have been worse, I guess. Killing mobs that are, what, 18 levels higher? Seems pretty decent. Psychic Steel Mace. Uh oh. It's about to do a thing. Kill him. Shielding Rune absorbs 237. Meh. 
Wait, I forgot to open up this other thing. Let's see what this armor is in here. Radiant Dwarven Steel Mail Armor. Could be good. Let's see. Armor. Will. Nah. Don't care. Mace. Staff. Just smiting these fools so hard. Steel dagger, emerald, okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. And, alright. We're gonna go a little bit over 30 minutes here, but um, that's okay, because I want to show you the next part. Because I think... Are we there yet? Or do I have to roll this into another part? We're almost there, I think. I can also just rush and come back and do this later. Ooh, ooh, mages, hate mages. Stop it, stop it. By the way, if you ever try playing the Archer class, that's actually pretty challenging. People have said that the class is OP, but I haven't really been able to get it to work as well as other people claim to have been able to. A big part of that is because of the reload mechanic. Ooh, part 3 of how to become a necromancer. So the reload mechanic, basically you have these quivers, which are... Um, if you're not familiar with the idea of a quiver, it is the, I guess, pouch that holds your ammunition. Well, that's a pretty sweet weapon, too. Pouch that holds your uh, ammunition, like uh, crossbow bolts or your arrows for a bow, and things like that. Um, and they can only hold so much ammo. So I think that the starting quiver that you start out with is, it holds about seven arrows. And so what happens is, once you've shot all seven, you have to activate a sustained ability that will reload. And it reloads a certain amount per turn, um, but as soon as you attack, it cancels the reload effect. So you kind of have to kite. And what I mean by that is you have to basically run without doing damage while you're reloading. And the archer has some abilities that, that can you know, be used in conjunction with that mechanic. Oop, here, okay, so here's the boss that I'm looking for. Subject Z, who's level 21. So here, let's take a look. Uh, Subject Z looks like some kind of crazy orc with a sword arm and a hand with like a gem in it and like bolts and screws and things. He's like a Frankenstein orc. His flavor text See, this seems to be the subject Z the note spoke about. He looks human, but this cannot be. He would be about 5,000 years old. And then we have a Yeek Weist. This creature is about as tall as a halfling, and is covered in white, silky fur, and has a disproportionate head. The weirdest thing about it, though, is its weapons simply float in front of it. So, let's go ahead and kill subject Z. Whoa, what is going on? Okay, so... In order to unlock the Yeek race, you've got to basically kill Subject Z before the Yeek dies. So, to that end, let's do this. That was pretty quick. Supple leather armor entwined with willow bark. Don't really care about the other stuff. So here, let's identify this. Nature's blessing. Exciting. Okay. Now, I think if I talk to him... Before you stand as a creature, blah, 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 yep, okay. You are not of the way. No, I don't want to fight him. I want to save him. Well, you seem to need help. The great sword floats to a less aggressive stance. He seems surprised. Then, on behalf of the way, I thank you. What is the way, and what are you? The way is enlightenment, peace, and protection. I am a yeek. I came through this tunnel to explore this part of the world that was closed to us for centuries. Can you tell me more about the way? I cannot, but let me show you a glimpse. And he fills your mind with feelings of peace and happiness. Thanks for the vision. Farewell, buddy. Okay, so if you use that dialogue path and uh, you manage to save him, 
before subject Z kills him, then in theory uh, you would unlock the Yeek class. Okay, so I can't actually go out that way. That's right. So, save you. Not bad. Grab that. <coughs> see, see if it's any good. The one, <coughs> the one we have is physical crit. Deals damage on hit. This one gets some saves. See invisible. This one is more saves. Yeah, so maybe just sell that one. And then I think we've pretty much fully explored the level, but let's just double check just in case, and then we will probably be done with this video here shortly. Ow. That thing hurts. casters so much. Oh, here's another... This guy's like a purple... Oh! Fuck mages! I hate them with all of my being. Now are we done? Oh! What is that? Burning jewel? What the F? I've never seen one of those before. What is it? Burning Star! Blah, 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 blah. Gems. Yes. Cool. So what does it actually do? I've never even seen this thing before. What? Is it a gem? When carried, it gives me a light radius. Interesting. You use it? Where does it... Where does it go? I'm carrying it, but where? Interesting. Okay, so I mean, I guess I'm like holding it, but it doesn't actually show up in my equipment. It's kind of confusing. It's like, where's Waldo? Okay. And I haven't really been paying attention, but hopefully I've been keeping my cursor out of the center of the screen. Because that can be annoying. I can appreciate that leveled up. Sweet. What is that? Sleek for rope. Man, I'm just getting all kinds of sweet goodies. What is this? It's a yeek for a robe. Interesting. It's kind of gross in a way. I mean, it'd be like if you shaved your body hair and then made a robe out of it. But, um, yeah, it's not a terrible item, I guess. Resistances, mental save, mind power. A beautifully soft robe of fine white fur. It looks designed for a halfling noble. Now, there's some, there's some bad blood, I believe, if you read the lore between yeeks and halflings. I think that there was some conflict there. Alright, so level 16. Okay, let's just do these points, and then that'll probably be it for the day. So, okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's max out Daunting Presence. This is going to be pretty clutch for staying alive. For the class point, could put some more points in Mortal Terror to get a huge crit. And then for stats, now that these are just about even, we'll do like that. And we're done. Okay, so that's going to be it. Almost 40 minutes. And um, I showed you guys in this one how to unlock the Cursed class and how to unlock the Yeek race. So uh, hopefully you guys get some use out of that knowledge. Alright, farewell until next time.